Get in there, we're gonna start this compressor change out. Tiffins is gonna be on the sidelines here. Oh, Mr. Tippy. Tippy on the sidelines, man. Mm -hmm. I did wanna grab some gauges. Um, let's get in there and see. Tosa today, dead compressor. I haven't decided yet if, if it's gonna be easier to do it from the back or actually pull this thing out to the front. It is made to slide out, so let's just see here. It's gonna be my little screw pile right there. This one was the condenser had got dirty and killed the um, compressor. I'll see if I have one of those condenser fan motors on my truck. And they use really, really small compressors on these two door refrigerators. BTUs wise, as compared to what we used to do in the old days. And uh, we're gonna get it changed out. Here, see the condensate loop? Looks oily. We're gonna change that out too. Condensate loop, condenser fan motor, filter dryer, compressor. That's gonna be the, the morning, this morning. All right, so what's cool about this one is no need to recover. There's no gas left in the system. So I'm just gonna chop out. We know that condensate loop's hitting the road. I gotta make a new condensate loop. Look, big old leaker in there like they always do.
Too many obstacles for that back one right there. All right, let's see. Should have in my bag, yep, cap tube cutter. Get the reamer. This here's cap tube cutter. Yes, they actually make cap tube cutters. filter dryer. Yep, yeah, there's the other screw for that one goes right there. Okay. There right, I got that dryer cut out. Get that reamed out good. sealed up for the Exxon Valdez when we get the torch in here. Yeah. FF1 8.5 HK. Hambraco, Hambraco. I'm gonna put a Tecumseh back in. That's everything that's hitting the road right there. Condensate loop, condenser fan motor, compressor, filter dryer. We're gonna back blow this cap tube, see if it's still good. How's it going?
you know what it's time for. NorCal's favorite part of the day. See how it mixes what it looks like from where the condensate uh, line had leaked I'll dry that up with some rags then we're gonna do a complete cleanup on this dude condenser fan blade check Got my condenser put back in, condensate pan put back in. I'm gonna get the torch. Do you want any coffee? Yeah, I'll take coffee, why not? All right, we got that little bugger. Well, that's a bonus. Let me find, I should have the connector kit for it. that one right there get the van tidied up since the last the last little go around so the van's tidied up oh yeah we're gonna switch this unit today over to 450a which is the 134a replacement I'll show you guys that show you what it looks like it runs lower uh, at a 20 you know 20 degree evaporator it runs between about 11 to 14 uh, PSIG on your gauges for evaporator temperature so I'm gonna show you guys that because um, I'm not buying 134A anymore and I'm probably not going to buy 404 anymore. That's the last jug I got, which you guys saw in my last video. I really don't see a need to buy it anymore at the price it's at when you can get 448. So I know I've talked about that a bunch, so I'll stop and uh, let's carry on. I'm using a measuring tape today. I'm just eyeballing it. Eyeballer. Eyeballer, eyeballer. That's to the back of the 90s, like right there. Hi.
coffee. Oh, damn, that's that gourmet shit. Mmm. God damn, Jimmy. This some serious gourmet shit. So that'll, that'll evaporate some condensate, no doubt about it. Um. Where'd I put the condenser fan motor? I had a freshie. Brought the torch in. Oh, I didn't bring it in. Let me go get it. Light going to our... Uh, had to kill the audio right here because the machine they have running in the background will drive you freaking crazy. So the the holes don't line up quite line up. So I just find the easiest thing to do is to just drill, drill the one hole out bigger. There's a little. Well, I'm gonna go one more step up. And then if I have to, I'll just put a washer on that one, the one bolt, screw, oh, tighten the vise down, Uncle Dave, there, that'll be better. That'll usually do it. the magnet from my nut driver. That's a bummer. And you get a washer. Washer. Solid as a rock. See that? Ta da! So the FFI 8.5 HAK crosses over to the Tecumseh 4430. So we're going to put a little 4430 in here. And that's what it crosses over to. We're going to get this in there. I'm going to get the feet in. And we'll get it bolted in. Piece of the puzzle. I hear it. Mm -hmm. 
finger bend, finger bend, bend, finger bend. Oh, yeah. Team Braves, ready to rock and roll. Are you ready? Let's do it. Do the little dance in your pants. I never did find a, a, a bushing for that, so it's getting that old fashioned hack and mow special. on the nitrogen test we'll get some soap bubbles and we'll get ready for a vacuum it's a nitrogen pressure test it's been pressurized we're gonna get the vacuum going the micro gauge
this to the top. All right, see if it works. Test on my vacuum pump. Are you guys ready for this? There it is. Here we go. Vacuum pump is good. <laughs> Real good. So the vacuum pump is good. That's a little test of the vacuum pump. Micron, so we're at 1180 coming down the mountain. Heading in the right direction, and that's reading off the liquid line filter dryer. We got new compressor, new condensate loop, new condenser fan motor, new filter dryer. We back blue, I didn't video it, but I back blue the cap tube so it's not plugged. And we're coming down here, and I'm going to recharge it with uh, 450 alpha. Under a uh, thousand microns and dropping. We'll let her keep ripping. Alright, while we're on the vacuum pump, I'm checking the door gaskets. They look good. Door gaskets look good. 13.4 ounces. Already got it marked. We got these 800 microns and dropping. Yep. All the units on the vacuum pump pulling down. You know, the shrink wrap, yeah, it looks good on paper. And you definitely leaking around there, corroded through there where it gets hot. Definitely got the tons of oil right in there it doesn't make it last any longer looks good though So it's going to be 60, 60 degrees going into the condenser, 59, 58, let's see, we'll call it 60. All right, 13.4 ounces. We'll see how that settles down and we'll see how that works. Got it turned on, we're at 48, dropping. And we're at a 19 degree evaporator, 114 condensing. It'll look like uh, 13, 137.8. There we go. Yeah, 14, 138, 20 degree evaporator, 116 condensing. My amp draws at 5 amps, but I have a half an amp from the evaporator fan motor, so I'm at 4.5. Just under 4.5 amps on the compressor, which is where it's supposed to be. And this is dancing around a little bit. Looking good. Like what I'm seeing. Coming down the mountain. All right, look, there it is. 
about the same. Tosa, NorCal, yeah, about the same. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, we're almost ready to cycle back on. Got ourselves a happy little, happy little fridge here. All right, if you haven't yet, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. That would be awesome. And we'll see you on the next video.